Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. <clears throat> in uh, this video, I'm going to answer question number five from the Solomon L C3 collection, which um, C3 has now become P3. And um, <clears throat> this question is about trig addition formulae. And it's question number 17 from my end of topic worksheet um, of num uh, from P3, worksheet four, which is about addition formula of trigonometry and this question here <clears throat> tells us to find the values of x in the interval of x between minus 180 and 180 degrees of course for which the tan of and then you have x plus 45 which you have this compound angle minus tan of x equals 4 giving your answers to one decimal place so we have like a compound angle here and then we have an angle which is just on its own tan x so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into its parts. Now, please remember that you cannot expand this. The tan by itself doesn't mean anything. You can't say tan x plus tan 45. That's a very common error. So tan x plus 45 degrees does not give you tan x plus tan 45. You cannot do that. Okay, That's not how it expands. You have to use addition formulae. And fortunately, the addition formulae are in the formula book. And there's one for tangent. And we're going to just, I'm going to say we've just gone to the formula book and we've found it. Okay, here it is. This is the formula that involves tan in the addition formulae, the compound angle formula, you could say. Now, um, here what it means is the tan of A plus B is equivalent to the tan of A plus the tan of B divided by 1 minus the tan of A times the tan of B. So if we just um, translate this to what we have here, this is like the A and this is like the B, and there's a plus between them. So we have to follow the one on top, which is plus on top and minus underneath. So what I can say is I can rewrite this as the tan of X plus the tan of 45 divided by 1 minus the tan of x times the tan of 45. So that's how you expand it. You don't say tan a plus tan b. No, it's tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a times tan b. Okay, so that's the expansion of this. And then you have your minus tan x, which is there in the equation, equals 4. Now, I know that the tan of 45 is equal to 1. I know that tan of 45 degrees is equal to 1. Okay, you could verify that with your calculator if you're not sure. But the tan of 45 is equal to 1. Okay, so I can replace the tan 45s with 1s. So I have tan x plus 1 over 1 minus the tan of x times 1, which is tan of x, minus the tan of x is equal to 4. So now I have got everything written in terms of a single angle, tan x, tan x, tan x. I don't have the compound angle now anymore. And now I can um, you know, carry on and try to solve this. Now I want to get rid of the fraction, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by, the ta by 1 minus the tan of x to get rid of this denominator. So I'll multiply by 1 minus 1 minus tan of x. Okay, I'm multiplying everything by that. So this will give me, on this side here, this will give me, this will basically cancel out this denominator. So I'll have the tan of x plus 1 minus, and I have the tan of x times 1 minus the tan of x. So the tan of x times 1 minus the tan of x equals 4 times 1 minus the tan of x. So this will give me the tan of x plus 1 minus the tan of x plus tan squared of x, just expanding this bracket here, equals 4 minus 4 the tan of x. Now I can um, simplify everything on this. I'll bring everything to one side. I see you're going to have a quadratic. <coughs> it's x squared, to, um, tan x squared and tan x. So I'm going to write the tan squared x. And then I'll simplify the tan x terms. I've got tan x minus tan x, which is 0. And I'm going to 
add four ta tan x to both sides, I'll have plus four tan x. And from the constants, I have a one and a four on this side. So one minus four is negative three. So I have this quadratic. Now, if you're not comfortable with solving quadratics in terms of trig ratios, what I could do is you could say let another letter, you can't say x, let's say y equals tan x. So you can replace the tan squared x with y squared and the tan x with y. So y squared plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. Now I want to solve this quadratic equation um, and find the values of y. And the values of y will be the values of tan x, basically, that I can solve. So now to solve this, I can see that I can't factorize it because you can't have two numbers that multiply to give you negative 3 and add to give you plus 4 because... You know, they have to have different signs. And we've got 3 and 1, so the differences will be 2. So now I can't factorize this, so I'm going to... Um, you could use the formula, you could complete the square. I think completing the square looks pretty easy in this case, so I'll just use completing the square. So first I'll add the 3 to both sides, and then I'll complete the square for this side. So this is y plus a half of the coefficient 2 squared minus the square of this number, which is 4, equals 3. So I have y plus 2 squared equals 7. So that means I'm going to say that y plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. So y equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 7. So now what I can say is that tan of x, because we said y equals tan of x, so tan of x is either, either equal to minus 2 plus root 7 or the tan of x is equal to minus 2 minus root 7. So now I have, um, you know, almost got there. So I have to just solve these equations and find the values within our range. Okay, if we go back up and see the range, the range is between minus 180 and 180. Okay, so the range we have to solve is between minus 180 for x values between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees so i'm going to find the values of x for which the tan of x equals minus 2 plus root 7 so i'm going to use inverse tan of minus 2 plus root 7 so let's find my calculator okay so i have inverse tan of minus 2 plus the square root of 7 degree mode yep degree mode and that gives me whoops what did i do wrong there I think that I put the bracket too long. Do that. I put the square root too long. That should work now. Sorry about that. Be careful how you write your <coughs> use your calculator. So 32.852. I'll write it to th to a few more than I need. We need one decimal place. I'll write it to a few more in the in the meantime. So 32.852. And then we need to find. Um, another angle in this range for which you get the same value as um, you know the tan of the angle so for tangent if you remember it repeats every 180 degrees basically if you think about it in terms of the um, quadrants you're going to have this in the first quadrant the other place where tan is positive is going to be in this so here tan is going to give you a positive value because minus 2 plus root 7 is something positive okay because root 7 is going to be more than 2, yeah, because you know, root 4 is 2, so this is going to be positive, so that's why it gives you an angle in the first quadrant. Now, we can't go all the way around here, because we're going to go past 180, therefore we have to go in the negative direction, which we can do, so we're going to go over here, so this angle here is 180 is less than the angle we found, so the other angle is going to be 32.852 take away 180 that will be the other angle in our range and that gives us so take this and take away from it 180 that gives us minus 147.148 so minus 147.148 so those are the two angles from here I'll round them at the end when I write the answers finally down and for the other one I'm going to do inverse tan of minus 2 minus root 7 so i'll just go back to here change this to a minus so minus 2 minus root 7 now that's going to be a negative value so that will give me an angle in this quadrant over here i think okay it'll be a negative 
um, will be negative value. So it gives me minus 77.852. So minus 77.852. Now, if I go, so it, basically I've got the angles in these two quadrants. Now I've got this angle, which the calculator gave me. If I go further negative, I'll have to go past minus 180 to get to my, my next angle. So I need to go in the other direction this way. So this angle is 180 more than our angle. So the, remember the tan curve repeats every 180 degrees. So once you found the first angle, the other angles will always be separated by it by 180, either 180 to the you know um, right of it, you could say, in the positive side, or 180 be below it. So the, the other angle for this within our range will be if we add 180 to this angle. Okay, 180 more than this angle will give us the next angle in our range. So I take our angle that we found here and we add 180 this time. And this takes us to the next place, which is 121. Oh, sorry, 102.148. So 100. This is 102. Point. What was it again? 148. 148. So finally, we write down all our solutions together. Okay, I'll try to put them in order of size. So you have this one minus 147.1 degrees to one decimal place. The next one in order of size is minus 77.9 degrees to one decimal place. Then you have 32.9 degrees. And you have finally 102.1 degrees. Those are the solutions written in order of size and in to one decimal place. You don't have to write them in order of size. It's just, you know, nicer to do so. So there we have the answer to this question. So you know, this is the type of question we have to use one of these addition formulae for this one for tan, which is found in your formula book and split it up into you know, single angles rather than this compound angle. And then you end up with your answer. OK, so that's how you deal with such a question. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this Solomon L uh, P3 or you know, this, the, the Solomon L paper will be found in this um, playlist which you can find a, um, a link for at the top here and other questions from this topic of trigonometry from p3 trig identities you can find in the playlist that should be down here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this icon on the top of the page uh, will take you to another paper that you might be interested in watching from p3 thank you for watching and see you soon